If you are confused on how to create your first AB experiment, then this video is for you. I'm gonna show you how I create a quick AB experiment in one of the AB testing platforms out there. Hello everyone, this is Khaled with Invest. This channel is all about helping you improve your site conversion rate so you can make more money online. Now we do that by sharing the best tips, strategies, and tools on how to do that. If you are new to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe and of course, like and comment. Now, since this video Video is all about showing you how to create an AB experiment. We'll actually jump into AB testing software and create the experiment there. Before I do that, I'm gonna talk about AB testing software. There are a ton of platforms out there that are very similar to one another. I've done a video showing some of the top alternative to Google Optimize. We will leave a link to it in the description so you can watch that and select the right AB testing software for your platform. Now, since I'm the co-founder at FigPy, the software that I'm gonna be using for this demo is FigPy. However, you can probably most likely do the same thing in any A-B testing software out there. Since this is our first experiment, my goal is to simplify the test as much as possible. I wanna see how I can run an experiment on a single page and see the impact of that experiment on my conversion rate. For the purposes of this demo, I'm gonna be running an experiment on the homepage of FigPy and I'm gonna see if my new variation will encourage people to start the sign up process. Again, the goal over here is to crawl before you walk. So looking at this page, well, maybe I will test different headlines and I'll see if my new headline will actually have a higher conversions. And for the purposes of this demo, again, the conversion goal that I'm going to be measuring is somebody starting the sign up process by clicking on the get started for free. So now we are inside of FigPy and I'm going to be creating an AB test and I'm going to create a new experiment. So we're going to call this homepage test new headline. What kind of experiment? We are going to be running an A-B test. Split URL is a whole other consideration. So we're not going to do that during this demo. Page targeting, this is going to be running on a specific page. So let's go ahead and put the URL to the homepage. Devices and visitors, I'm going to be running this experiment for all visitors coming on mobile or desktop. I'm going to also be running the experiment for all visitor types. It doesn't matter to me whether they are new or returning. So I'm going to select all in both options. Let's click on variations, add variation. Now the visual editor is gonna load the homepage of FigPy and here we go. So I wanna test a different headline. I'm just gonna click on it, see different headline. And here is the headline. Right now it says more conversions, higher revenue, better customer experience. So let's change that, achieve higher conversion rates right away. So this is my new headline and I'm gonna click okay. Since I'm gonna launch my first AB experiments, I'm not gonna add other variations. So I'm just gonna click on save and continue. So we have our first variation, the AB testing software, FigPy in this case is gonna split the traffic. 50% is gonna go to the original, 50% is gonna go to the variation. I like that. Now let's think about the goal for the experiment. Again, I want people to start the actual sign up process. Process. So for that, my first goal is going to be a page view and it's going to be an exact match. And I'm going to put the URL of the actual sign up process. Here is the URL to the actual sign up process. So if somebody actually goes to this step, then I will have a conversion for our purposes. I might also want to add another goal of somebody actually finishing the sign up process and actually logging in and viewing the dashboard of FigPy. So I'm going to go ahead and click add another goal. And in this case, also going to be a page view and let's put the URL to the FigPy dashboard over here. Now, since different visitors will have different domain IDs, so what I'm going to say it contains and then I'm going to just remove this and it's going to contain dashboard and it's going to contain domains. Again, this will vary from one domain to the next, but for our purposes, I know that this URL will match an actual conversion of somebody actually signing up for FigPy. Let's click on the sample size and duration calculator. If you follow Follow this channel for a while, you know that we have to calculate the sample size before we run the experiment. The nice thing about FigPy is that the software will actually calculate the required sample size for you. So you can just leave this as is, or if you know the original conversion rate from the homepage to the very first step, you can change that. Since we are just launching our first experiment, I will let FigPy handle this portion for me. Do I need to set up any advanced settings? No, I'm going to leave everything as is. So nothing when it comes to traffic 
traffic allocation, conversion confidence, targeting, any of those things. If you want to learn about all these different options in FigPi, please leave a comment and I will make sure that I can record a video about them. Most of these features are available in the different testing software out there. Save and launch. With that, our experiment is up and running. Let's go ahead and click on reports. Now FigPi is going to start tracking this data. We just launched the experiment so we can come back to it in 24 hours and see what kind of results we are seeing, how many visitors and how many conversions we are seeing. Until next time, happy testing. Thank you.